Yes, it is, uh, it is indeed normal. Um, definitely something that we wish to overcome in time, but it is um, for many women the case that once we enter a state of solarity, um, our femininity that uh, quite often is a lot uh, connected to the yin aspect for many women, especially the yin aspect at the level of Svadhisthana Chakra, at the level of the um, erotic, sexual, creative energies. Then if that dries out a little bit, because we are very much um, nourishing that level through comfort foods and nice little things and juicy stuff and so forth, it might feel as if we are losing our femininity. Now this should rather pose as a cue to strengthen your subtle femininity rather than as a cue to drop your Oshaba. It is very, very good to do Oshaba for a woman. It is very essential to become very young, very solar, very radiant. Uh, those of you who don't know, Oshaba is a type of macrobiotic diet that includes a very strict regimen of just grains, uh, water and salt, basically. So do this regimen. It's wonderful. It is uh, highly productive to achieve much higher inner states. And then with this new uh, focus, aspiration, radiance, discipline that you acquire from uh, gaining yang, invest it to awaken a state of Shakti. Because in the end of the day, you don't want your femininity, at least as a tantric woman, be based on the fluctuations at the level of Svadhisthana Chakra. This will also mean, for example, you will feel maybe less feminine uh, during menstruation or after menstruation because your vitality at the sexual level goes down a little bit and then you feel a little less feminine. These sort of fluctuations can be balanced when you awaken a state of Shakti, when you awaken, um, uh, let's say, the overall fully creative manifestation at all the levels of your being, which includes yin and yang. It includes all the energies and creates a perfectly balanced state of femininity inside. And that awakening will result into uh, effortless continence, even the full sublimation of the menstruation. It will result into a femininity that is continuous and extremely intense. It will result into a harmonious feminine expression and so forth. So this is what I would recommend. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content on spirituality, tantra and more. And if you want to sign up for our online classes or for our retreats, you can see our website on the description below.